guys, it is Mascara Monday. All right, so we've got um, the number seven dramatic lift for the ultimate wide awake look mascara. This mascara was nine nineteen. It was um, eight ninety nine, I believe, at Target, and it is in the color black. Um, I looked around for a waterproof version of this. They didn't have it. Now I have not heard anything, anything, anything about. Um, um, number seven mascaras at all like the big ones that I hear about all the time are Maybelline because they've got a million mascaras um, mostly Maybelline and then uh, the higher end ones like from Too Faced and stuff like that well they got this thing wrapped up real good okay all right, and here's the brush. It's a curved wand. It has got a ton of product all over it. So this is for the ultimate wide awake look. Lashes look lifted by 70% and add weightless volume for the ultimate wide awake, wide awake look. Formula to keep help keep lashes soft. Well, we'll see. Let's see how this goes. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so while I'm surprised that this is not gunking up my lashes, very much considering how much product is on, like, on this thing. Lashes look lifted, okay. Oh, they do, they do. All right, so really long. Not very volumized, but really long. I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes if I look down, it like helps you to see the lashes a little bit better. Okay, what I kind of like about this brush is that, um, I don't know, it feels like it's not clumping my lashes together, like they're not wanting to stick together, and there's something about this brush that's making it, like, slowly comb through, and it's putting a good even amount on all my lashes, so let's try this one as well. Whoa! It's making them really long. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of really long, oh. I just got that all over myself. Really long lower lashes. Okay, so something about this that I don't like is that it's making it pretty easy for me to get uh, a lot of mascara transfer on the bottom on my lower lash line. Okay, so I'm not going to re-dip this. I'm going to just see how it will um, apply now that some of the product is off to the other eye. So let's just take a look. Okay, so not the best, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more. It's not, this tube is not scraping the mascara off of this very well, or very much, which is sort of a shame because it makes it a lot easier to get mascara all over yourself and your face and everywhere where you don't want it. Okay, they're still pretty like separated so I mean not bad Okay, I'm gonna kind of do um, another coat over this. Okay, it is drying down, so I am a fan of that. I like that. Oh, just poked myself in the eye. That was a little bit of... Uh, 
user error right there. Don't do that, by the way, kids. It's hard sometimes. You're trying to get as close as you can to the lash line there to get the product right there. And then you end up poking yourself in the eye. I didn't get a lot of transfer from that, though. On other mascaras, I have gotten some transfer from doing that. A little bit down right here. This is user error, though, you guys. Like, I accidentally got some mascara on my lower lash line right there and right there. So, take a quick look for you guys. Um, this is not bad at all. It's it's good. I like it. But um, I don't think it's worth the $8.99 price tag. Um, the Colossal Big Shot Mascara that I tried the other day is really good. Like I tried it a couple times um, since then and it's really really good. It is extremely lengthening and separating and even volumizing and um, I went to church on Sunday with it in the morning and um, I even took a nap that afternoon um, and I sleep all on my face so my mascara was should have been all over my face but it really wasn't. It was really and it wasn't even a waterproof mascara so that was a really good one. I think um, so far from my Mascara Mondays I think that one's been my favorite. So if you can find that one on sale load you up a couple of those because it was really good. Very lengthening, volumizing, and separating and uh, I f that's a pretty hard find in my opinion. So um, yeah if you can find that one on sale I would pick that up. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I will wear this for the rest of the day and then I will update you guys with my final thoughts and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye!